as Lanchard. I'm sure there's a few more years, but he's in his uh, early 30s, so he's not got that many more magnificent appearances left. Here he is, though, gets off to a flying start from P2. He's into the first corner first, and even though Zach Wanzaidi had a, a moment or two, he just looked in the mood right from the, from the off sleeve right? Yeah, he certainly did. He got his uh, bike right out in front. Um, a little bit difficult to see as he went past that uh, Zach Wanzaidi, but uh, at this point of the race, we thought it was just a good start, which is what he needed to do. We thought the others were going to stay with him. We thought that uh, he would consolidate. We thought that Brock Parks would make his way forward, but that wasn't to be, because from the very first lap, he pulled out a second gap over the man in second position, the number 21, Zach Wanzaidi. Unfortunately, Radapont Willerot, who was going really well, crashed out. Disappointing to see, because he was uh, on strong everywhere. Dyson with Federico Sandy from Italy on the Ducati. Good to see the Ducati up there. They did come good. And I'll tell you what, watch out for them next year because with them coming back, they're going to have to fight for it. Talk about fighting. Brock Parks never gave up. He didn't give up yesterday when he crashed. He didn't even give up today. He was down to the 11th at one point and worked his way back up through the field. And there was a, a lot of traffic too. But then he was pushed really wide on that corner and even the faint hope that he might have had of catching Aslan Shah, that this appeared on that moment corner number four there's the the look on his engineers as Lanchard doesn't know at this stage but he got he spread out a lead as big as 8.3 seconds that was an incredible display at this point with a couple of laps to go he was still pushing one of the fastest laps of the race was his second lap of the race and then as he got onto that final lap you could see the team there and starting to put the championship winning t-shirts on he backed off a little bit, but not too much on that final lap. 38.5 it was, a couple of seconds uh, slower than what he'd done throughout the uh, race. Incredible stuff. Then he came across the line, Des. He slowed down finally and uh, did a bit of uh, fist pumping and went across that line. And boy, what a victory for Aslan Shah it was. Brilliant, brilliant stuff for him. The race for second was uh, Zach Wanzoni. Did the Pong had a good race. Wath uh, managed to finish the race. Federico Sandy was riding well too. But it is this man who wins it. You know, I just, it's crazy. I just give 100%, you know, from start until finish. You know, I never think about two people behind me. Maybe I look one time in behind and I saw the ball like plus 30, then I just focus on myself and keep, keep going on and keep pushing until I, I, I take the checking flag. So this is your third Asia title, two Super Sports 600 CC title and one 1000. How has the entire uh, process been being with a new team and a new bike this year? You know, it's, it's been incredible here. You know, my team is not a factory, you know, we are like satellite team. But this year we work very hard all together, all the team. And, you know, this is a this is, uh, so emotional uh, moment for me because from uh, this normal team and uh, we win the championship together, you know guys? Yeah.